The release of Robert Mueller's special counsel report is said to be at least a week away. Now Rod Rosenstein, who ordered the investigation, says the final report may not be as transparent as some would like. Here's Paula Reed. Thank you. Today, the man initially in charge of the Russia Thank investigation you, appeared to lower expectations about special counsel Robert Mueller's final report. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein suggested the government should not release information on uncharged subjects. I know there's tension there between the desire to be more transparent and let everybody know what we're doing and the desire to ensure the government through its work is not unduly tainting anybody. Rosenstein said he was not referencing a specific case, but noted the issue of transparency is one that will soon be discussed nationally. Rosenstein has overseen the Russia investigation since he appointed Mueller in May 2017 and is in frequent contact with the special counsel. Mueller is required to submit a report to the attorney general, but there is no legal requirement for the attorney general, William Barr, to share information with the public. I do. During his confirmation hearing, Barr would not commit to releasing the full report. My goal will be to provide as much transparency as I can consistent with the law. The Justice Department does not typically release evidence against people who have not been charged with a crime. But Democratic lawmakers say this case is different and have threatened to subpoena the report or even Robert Mueller. Right now, everything rides on yeah. that Mueller report and the Attorney General, William Barr, not sanitizing it in a way that is not transparent to the public and the Congress. The Justice Department does not believe a sitting president can be indicted. So if Mueller's report includes any evidence of criminal wrongdoing by the president, it will be up to Attorney General Barr whether to pass that information along to Congress for possible impeachment proceedings. John. Paula Reed for us in Washington. Thank you, Paula.